Hi, I'm Jared from The Broken Seal, and we're going to be looking at Clank the Adventuring Party. This expansion is for the base versions of Clank, um, both the standard, uh, I believe you can also play this with Clank in space, and I think even the Clank at a Legacy game. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. It does increase the player limit up to six players, so that's nice. And we have artwork of all the different players that you can play as. If you played Clank Legacy, this kind of is a light version of that where you don't have to do all the work to flesh out your character throughout the whole course of the game. You just get characters that have special starting decks and special abilities. So on the back here, we have some more information. Uh, you can lead trusty companions as the Dwarf Agnet. You could build a wondrous collection as the elf Dalan. You could smash hordes of enemies as the orc Garignar. Sling arcane spells as the mage Lenara. Amass primate power as the monkey bot Prime. Or stir up a pall full of trouble as the devious cat Whiskers. But beware, the ravenous Hydra Hex Voltus won't give up his treasure so easily. So it comes with a sideboard for five and six players. 30 cubes and two new colors, six player markers, six character boards, 127 cards, including six unique 10 starting card decks, 90 plus tokens, the Hex, Hex of Voltus boss marker, as well as the rules. So they do make a little disclaimer. This does require the full game contents that's found in the Clank deck building game. So this won't technically be an unboxing. Uh, I was impatient and got this a while ago and we did open it because we wanted to look at it, but we haven't actually played anything. So at least the components are still inside their sleeves. Um, this is just some information from uh, Renegade about other games that they have. And uh, it is something to note, this was actually bent when we uh, received the game. Uh, not from us doing it afterwards but nonetheless the rules for the new setup and how to play with a party of five or six players different information about each of the player characters and their abilities and then we have our player boards We have Garangar, the orc. Lenara, the wizard. Delon, the... Uh, I don't remember what his thing was. <laughs> Mr. Whiskers. Monkeybot Prime. And the dwarf Agnet. In addition, we have our sideboard for five to six players. It has their health tracker, as well as the additional clank that would get added. And where you can start off if you have five to six players when you increase the threat for the dragon or... I should, we should say the enemy at this point because it's either a dragon. Uh, I think in one of the expansions you can fight the monkey bot. There's the spider. Uh, this um, Hydra um, and then the dragon from Clank Legacy as well so there's a lot of different options for enemies uh, this is our components there appear to be some more uh, artifacts I can't remember off the top of my head if these are the same point value as the other ones but there are some new items as well uh, looks like there is a cloak. I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to look through to find out. Um, there's also some new minor and major secrets. Or rather, I should just say minor secrets. There's no major secrets. It doesn't look like it. But uh, there's this ability here, which I'm not sure of what that is. Um, but then there's also still the standard health potion, attack potion, movement potion. 
and two dragon eggs, it looks like. And then there's some symbols, which I can only assume have to do with the new player abilities. Um, there's a sword, looks like maybe some kind of arcane glyph. Um, maybe this has to do with the monkey bot, their gears. Um, and then whatever these are down here. I guess for whiskers, because there's a paw print on the back. <laughs> so if you ever wanted to be a cute little cat that was running around in a dungeon, this finally gives you that opportunity. So let's look at some of the components that come with the game, or the cards rather, that come with the game. So we can see the new cards all have artwork on there for the character that they represent. Um, they also have special effects. So this one, defensive position, for instance, it has a one move, but also if you're in a crystal cave, you gain two attack. I'm not sure what that symbol in the corner means. I guess it's only for that character. Or maybe, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just going to stop guessing. <laughs> um, unless the starter comes with a companion in it, but that'd be new. Um, it also has a react. An opponent acquires the last remaining companion in the dungeon row. If you have another companion in your play area, draw a card. So, not sure. Um, I like the fact that this allows you to do different things, so we'll see what that does later on, but nonetheless, it's, it seems pretty cool. I like the idea of having companions in your starting deck. And then we have, uh, who's green? Delon. We have Delon's cards next. I'm guessing now that that symbol in the corner is to represent that it's in the starting deck, because um, Delon's has them as well. And they still come with the standard stumbles Burgles. But it seems like in addition to those, they have at least two to three specialty cards. So for Delon, we have collection, competition, and exhibit that have different effects that they can do. And then next we have uh, our ogre player who I guess is going to be gray. I don't see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Garignar. Uh, his three specials seem to be Ransack, Scavenge, and Wallop. Um, oops. So obviously he's a little bit more attack-based. And then we have Lenara with her specialties. Channel, Mystic Slide, and Study. Um, I also noticed that hers... Oh no, that's still the same. Each of, each of them seem to have a React card. I don't know what they do, but again, I'm looking forward to finding out. In addition to that, um, so even though they do still have the standard stumbles and burgles, they at least have the new card art on there, which I really like. So the burgles for Lenara, for instance, they have her crouched over at a chest and the stumbles for her have her long ass cloak and she's stepping on it as she's falling, which is even more thematic instead of it just being a trip. And then the monkey bot. I don't see Mr. Whiskers cards. Oh, there's more cards in here, that's why. Okay, so the monkey bot um, comes with Bolt, Persist, and Primacy. And he has some really cool artwork for his burgle. And 
let's see what's in his stumble or what his other cards are. The stumble still seems to be the standard kind of artwork. Nothing special to it. And then for our whiskers, we have Catitude, Pussyfoot, and Saunter. And then I think this is really cute. His burgle is just him sleeping atop, or them sleeping atop of a open chest. And their stumble is some kind of weird cat trip. Like he's trying to walk on his front paws only. And then we have some of the monster row or monster deck cards. Um, they all look really cool. We have things like the Ape Lord, things like the Ape Lord Phantasm, Pixie Swarm, Spotter, Succubus, Hiding Place, Device, Arrive Choice, you may discard a Burgle to get minus two Clank, Use to get two Attack, a Secret Passage. So there's really cool things. There's new companions. There's a lot of new companions. I want to read up on this react ability because that seems really... If there's something like a, a trap effect from Yu-Gi-Oh! or something that you can use reactionary, that'd be really fun to play. And let's see what's in our last little pack of cards. So some more cards. We have some more uh, things that would eventually help you to go into your player deck, like the Elven Satchel. Oh, there's a flawed emerald. So instead of the normal, when you acquire, you get plus two clank. These flawed versions seem to have each other player also gets clank as well. And then they added mercenaries, explorers, tones, and burgles. So they added everything so that you could have a five to six player game that's not specifically this uh, version. So that's nice. So if you want to just play normal clank with five people, you have extra extra explorers, extra tomes, and extra cards to set up a starter deck. And then uh, something that's also kind of funny, we've always wanted to have a player use black as their color, but black is the monster color. So now we at least have gray. So if someone wanted to be gray, they can use that as their player character or player color if they go with a uh, Gargnar, if they're the, um, if you're using the adventure pack or just base gray, if you're going to be doing standard clink. A little wooden meeples. So they all look really nice. Uh, then we have the Hydra, who is easily intimidating, although it doesn't show up very good on camera. Let's see if I can get a better image of him. There we go. Having him on the table isn't great. But um, yeah, he looks fun. Looks like he might be intimidating. So we have orange and gray as our additional colors. If we wanted to have a fifth and a sixth player, just from the standard um, uh, red, yellow, blue, and green. Although, even though I did want a black option, I'm still going to be probably using green because why not? Um, so we're looking forward to playing this and we'll see if we can get a video recorded in this at some point. Thank you for watching.